the dynamic hydroplaning occurs, when there is at least 3 mm of standing water, and the inertial effects cause the water to build up ahead of the tire, as it cannot escape the contact area. The tire is then lifted off and buoyed. The traction is lost, and so are the braking capabilities. Dynamic hydroplaning, occurs at higher speeds than inertial hydroplaning. There are several ways to prevent dynamic hydroplaning, including keeping the tires inflated and reducing speed. Subsequently, the RCR is made available to the relevant aeronautical stations. The appropriate type of aeronautical messages, shall be disseminated based on the conditions reported. When a wet runway condition is reported, the runway conditions are disseminated by ATS via ATIS, meter, voice, and data link communications. A factored landing distance, with the additional safety margin, can be quickly eroded if the approach is made higher over the threshold, the approach speed is excessive, or the flare and landing point is further down the runway. A combination of these factors together, will render the landing performance computations useless. After touchdown, late application of reversers, if required, or braking will result in the exceedance of the calculated LDR.